This weekend was rough, man. There was a lot of time on a mountain. Uh oh, this red light is stuck at 17 seconds. Gonna work? Oh boy. Didn't work. Turn green, but the light's still not working. All right, it's Monday, moon day, Monday. All right, head into the studio. Woke up a little sluggish after the long weekend of working on top of a mountain, emceeing. Boy, it's cold up there. I feel like I'm still cold. <laughs> so I got this big old jacket on. It's, it's cold. But got to get to work. I do some editing. And, oh, really importantly, most importantly, there's only 30 days left to reach my goal. 30 days left to bring in $3,500 in revenue an additional $3,500 a month in revenue into the Banyan Collective, which is my podcast company, so that I don't have to go get a job. And I've, you know, out of that $3,500 a month, started about, what, 20-something days ago. I'm, I made progress bringing in $776, but that's far shy of 3,500. I'm still, you know, roughly 2,500 away. 2,250, something like that, away. So I gotta bring, my goal is to bring in, you know, $2,500 more within the next 30 days. $2,500 more within the next 30 days. That's consistent every month coming in. Sponsorships, maybe we do, maybe I lean into the Patreon thing. You know, I'm not really sure, but it's probably mostly gonna come from sponsorships and then perhaps like a production gig. But man, that's not gonna be easy. <sighs> Yeah, I'm still tired. But I gotta do it. Because, you know what? I love this life. I love this podcast life of, of mine. I don't want to have to go get a job. That, I don't mind working. I just don't like working on stuff I don't like to do. Like, right? You know? That's what I've done for years for this. I've had jobs I've liked, of course. I've had jobs I've really liked. I've also had jobs, well, just uh, as of recently, it's a job I liked, really liked, but while I was there, I felt like I should be doing something else, and that is podcasting full-time. And it's hard when you're torn emotionally like that. It just feels like, you know, yeah, I'm making money. It's not, I don't hate my job. I like my job. It's just not what I want to do. And we live in a pretty damn great state, a pretty damn good country, and most of the time a decent economy <laughs> that allows us to, if you, if you want to make a change, you can make a change. If you want to go do the thing you want to do, you just got to figure it out. You know, God invented YouTube for a reason. <laughs> go YouTube it. Go Google it. Go figure it out problem with being a professional podcaster is, I mean, and most people put content creator in this pocket, which is fine, but I lean have more heavily on podcasting. We just recently started using YouTube within the last year and a half. So we don't produce for YouTube necessarily. This vlog is, but it's, you know, this isn't, this is different. I'm a podcaster and podcasting is different. Now, 
also, you know, I'm not, we don't, we're not famous. You know, we don't have this, we're not this giant personality that gets paid all this money, Joe Rogan, to just spew your thoughts, which would be rad. That's not us either. We're, we're small town, you know, podcasters. Trying to make a living doing it. And it's not easy. And I actually haven't seen a lot of like how to do that kind of stuff on YouTube. There's some, there's some, but it's more, it, they lean more towards content creation like YouTube stuff. And it's applicable, but not all the way, mostly. So we're kind of making it up as we go. However, that said, there's still materials, there's still resources out there to reference and, and kind of learn how to do this, which is good. And if, if this is what you want to do, go do it. Watch, watch this vlog because it's interesting. Maybe you'll learn something as far as my struggles or and or my successes, the ones that we've had at least. All right, I'm almost here. I got to run. Update throughout the day. Three. Do you want to say it? Yes. Okay. Well, this is my new toy. What do you think of this monopod with a foot? See what well, I'm that's nice. Yeah. You can go like this. Record this guy. Oh, well, that is nice. Record this one. Then you can just adjust. That's really nice. And then you can do this where you go. All right, well, that was fun. That was awesome. So, recorded and edited an audiobook for my good friend Case, Let the Wild Grasses Grow. And we finally launched it tonight. So, um, uploaded all the chapters and um you know the intro outro i mean all the stuff and then pressed publish so it's under review process by the publisher and we'll know shortly if it meets all the correct criteria to publish but we did our best uh, i learned a lot so you know it can't be web files it has to be mp3 files also it has to be um, a certain hurts, you know, saved and whatever the fuck that means, you know. I mean, we all know, but it's just you have to save it to what they want. And it can't be above what was it, neg 3 dB. And you save it all and then you upload it all and wait for approval. But it was great. It's a great novel. The novel's actually a couple years old. It took us. Oh, about a month and a half to record, but it took me an entire year to edit. And I had to learn some tricks because I wanted the floor to be next to nothing as far as the audio goes, you know. So I had to use some, um, I had to use the correct, um, they're not apps, what are they called? settings i guess i'd use the correct settings to get it to where the floor was like zero right um or not zero but like quiet and it was good that was good and then you know case took us to dinner to celebrate yeah. but it was, i'm glad that project is over and done because that took a lot of my mental space up for over a year I mean oh my gosh that was we started in October 2022 and took all of 23 to edit and got it done like right right before Christmas and then we were just working on like the la the the there was a few chapters we had to re-record so once it's live you can look up 
let the wild grasses grow on your favorite audio book platform and download it please pay i think it's gonna be like 10 bucks easy easy 10 bucks i get like a dollar from that from every download so that's cool um by case johnston author case johnston it is a retelling of his grandma and grandpa cordova who grew up in the dust bowl era of southern colorado and uh whose grandfather was in world war ii and worked as a cook in a submarine and whose grandmother in the story ends up being a code breaker for world war ii so um it's it's a great story it's a great novel fiction uh it's good it's fun and that was that for today i didn't edit fan sessions so i'll do that tomorrow um yeah most of the day was just celebrating with case you know getting all that st actually took a hot minute to upload all the files to the you know 61 chapters right so every chapter was you had to upload individually and make sure it was correct and done and but in the end all is well all is well so uh, we'll chat tomorrow deuces